Hey chocolate lovers, Julie here with Chocolate Therapist TV. Thanks for tuning in today. We are doing how to pair whiskey and chocolate, which I decided to do because I know it's on our website. We have this little whiskey pairing box and this thing is on fire. We are sending out so many of these, so I know that you all are out there drinking whiskey and eating chocolate. And really, it's about time. Everyone's been all about chocolate and wine, but chocolate and whiskey is possibly the best kept secret. So if you haven't tried it, make sure you check this out. Now, I have these different whiskeys here. You can see there's a couple bottles of Balvini. I'm not paid by this company. I'm not really endorsing it. I do happen to like their whiskey with chocolate because it has this little bit of a honey flavor to it. It's not sweet, but it's just, it's very easy to pair it with chocolate. But my advice on the whiskey, get the best you can afford and get your favorite because that's what's gonna give you the best experience. Don't go out and get the cheapest bottle of whiskey and a bag of M&M's, sorry M&M's, but <laughs> that is not gonna get the job done. So again, sherry barrel, rum barrel aged is fine. If you're going for peaty, smoky, mossy, grassy, whatever, a different kind of chocolate for you. Now, I put together an entire pairing list that you can download in the links below. So you can go to our website and just have that for free with all kinds of different ideas Although if you get like the box of chocolates, then that's gonna give you 16 different options right here. Now when you're choosing chocolate, I would go for all natural. No dyes, no preservatives, nothing artificial. And the reason is the purity of the pairing is so much better if you don't have all this other junk in here. We also happen to make our chocolate for pairing. We have a whole section for pairing wine, beer, coffee, tea, whiskey, whatever you're pairing. And we make it with pure chocolate and organic flavoring oils, so when you bite into it, there's no sugary dye-filled center. It's just pure chocolate with the essence of the flavor, which is why it pairs so well. Now, when you're doing the actual pairing, a little bit of whiskey, not too much, <laughs> and I would suggest with the whiskey pairing, add a little bit of whiskey, you know, just to get the flavor profile going in your mouth, and then take a small bite of chocolate and get it melting. Don't throw the whole thing in there because you're going to be adding a little more whiskey to see how the flavors change and you don't want too much chocolate in your mouth. So you take a little bite of chocolate, take a minute to get it melting, right? Swirl it around on your tongue, appreciate the flavors, and then add the whiskey at the same time and note how the flavors change. This is what makes it so fun. You can have them in there separately, but having them there together is a big adventure. Now this little square right here, if you want to do a chocolate bar, this is our Spice of Life bar, and it has ginger, cinnamon, and pepitas. So if you were choosing, say, a whiskey that had a little bit of spice in it and some vanilla, this Spice of Life bar would go great with that particular whiskey. Now, I'm not going to go into all the possibilities for pairings. Download that sheet. You know, do your own pairings. The key thing is to get a bottle of whiskey and a box of chocolates, and you just work your way through the whole box because every person is different. What one person likes, another person may not like. And this is where the discussions and the interactions and the fun all come in. So that is kind of all there is to it for chocolate and whiskey pairing. Hope you enjoyed the show today. Thanks for watching. And if you like the show, please subscribe to our station. It's always something fun, always about chocolate. I call it news you can use, right? You can literally go to the store and use this valuable information today. I'll catch you on the next episode.